I am Carol Ann Taylor, uh, owner and operator of Miami To Go and Little Havana To Go Marketplace, which is co-owned with my son, Jason Walker, Jason Mixon. We have had Little Havana To Go since uh, the year 2000. We closed in 2014, reopened in 2015 um, as a marketplace. Mm -hmm as opposed to a Little Havana to go because after all of the years of watching the growth in tourism in Little Havana and what has come onto the street, we decided that it was important to give tourists and visitors an authentic view of Little Havana. Mm -hmm. So in this store, we honor and celebrate artisans who bring their own art their own craft, make them here, and you can speak to them. They get to visit with each individual artisan on these walls and in these booths are individuals who make their own product. You always want growth, yeah. and growth has been a wonderful thing in Little Havana. Um, when I came here in the year 2000 and opened, the, none of these galleries, the restaurants, the nightclubs were not here. But I saw the vision of creating a tourist destination in Little Havana, mm -hmm. as it should have always been. Um, from that day to this has grown to over three million visitors that come to Little Havana. We are the second visited destination in Miami over Miami Beach. Mm -hmm. And when you look around, you've got these wonderful Cuba Ocho and Azuka and Ball and Chain, um, all of which have created a destination, a neighborhood mm -hmm. that is much deserving of the accolades that it's presently getting. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the merchants on Calle Ocho, um, are what you would call, I guess, old school. Yes. And so it's difficult for us to come together and see the vision. It has been difficult to try to translate that vision to the city sometimes. Mm -hmm. This is a major destination. And so um, we, we look to continue to advance um, all of the infrastructure that will simply add to making this the kind of destination it really should be. There is a movement. Okay. I am unfortunately not a property owner, ah, uh, yeah. but uh, the property owners in Little Havana are now speaking about doing a business improvement district and how fabulous that would be. Yeah. I was one of the founding members of what we call Viernes Coterales, which is the cultural Friday in Little Havana, the last Friday of the month. It is a consortium of several of the businesses on the street. The president is Bill Fuller, who owns Ball and Chain. The executive director is Patty Vargas. And we, yes, do work as a team to try to build camaraderie um, and an authentic designation for Little Havana. And speaking of designations, we have been working very hard to get the city to declare certain parts of this Cayocho as an official tourist district. For us, it would mean that there is somewhat of an ease of some rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk, people want to sit on the sidewalk. They want to smoke cigars outside. They want to hear live music outside. All of those kind of infringements that were this a tourist designated location those kind of restrictions might be eased. I am uh, also owner and operator of two stores at Miami International Airport. Um, I have two other stores at Miami International Airport that I have licensed. I licensed to my partners and they now own them. So I have two that I run. They are Little Havana to go in the okay. South Terminal. Okay and Miami to go in the North Terminal. When I began my retail career with the opening of Bayside in 1987, uh, 
is when I realized what an impact tourism has in Miami um, and the kind of visitors that, that came then uh, are not much different than those that are, that are coming now, except that there is a worldwide recognition mm. and such a thing as more of the cultural traveler. Mm -hmm. And so back then it may not have been possible to attract customers to Overtown, Little Havana, Little Haiti, um, West Grove. Today, there are travelers specifically looking mm -hmm. to stay in a B&B, mm -hmm. to explore the real Miami. Mm -hmm. And so that's the change that I was hoping to see and have been working for for over 20 years. I think the best have been the, the fact of the phenomenal growth of culture of culture, of cultures in Miami. Um, it's been, it's been a, a really heart-rendering experience to see the recognition that is finally coming to these wonderful heritage neighborhoods. Um, and I guess the, the part that is difficult is the infrastructure growth is the fact that Miami for many years has been a reactor as opposed to preparing for this kind of growth. Um, and so we're now seeing the fruits of that in transportation, in infrastructure, et cetera. But um, it's a wonderful Miami that we presently live in. Uh, opportunities are growing for all, mm -hmm. for all neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and really for all peoples. Part, part of what I have been doing and even getting more involved in now is that I have worked in the Caribbean, particularly in Haiti, um, in Jamaica, Trinidad, uh, other Caribbean countries, and I've worked with the artisans mm -hmm. and jewelers and designers of those countries mm -hmm. with the goal of being a uh, company that allows those craftspeople, those artisans, to be able to produce their goods and that they get sold in Miami and presented in Miami, the natural place, so that other retailers across the country have access to this phenomenal talent. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a website called Cultures to, Cultures to Go. Cultures to Go. Uh, I have a partner, my son and I are partners with Diane Sugimoto, who's a dear friend of mine. Uh, and we are working to grow the cultures business okay. as a fair trade business online and hopefully at some point a store in Miami that celebrates all these cultures. Yeah. I have been going for many years to two trade shows that are international. One is the, um, I've done the Miami Conference on the Caribbean, the Caribbean gift and craft shows that, have, that are, go around to different Caribbean countries on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Used to be yearly, now it's biannual. Mm -hmm. um, and in June, there is always in uh, Jamaica, the Caribbean Fashion Week. Yeah. So I have been a proponent of that for many years and have gathered, so to speak, artisans from everywhere. By the way, uh, including as well, you know, Haitian, Jamaican, Trinidadian, but also African-American mm. and Harlem and just artisans who deserve the promotion yeah. and, are, and are phenomenal and different. Yeah.